Uh, so to get started, the first thing I want to do, uh, first thing you want to do is make sure you're in your LinkedIn ad account. So if you come up here to linkedin.com slash ad slash accounts, um, you should have your LinkedIn ad account there. What you need is a personal LinkedIn page. So you can see my face over here. I have my personal LinkedIn page connected to my company page, Surfside PPC. And then I have my ad account set up with the billing set up. Pretty simple. I mean, just like setting up an account, you just have to connect things. There's plenty of tutorials online to to show you how to do that, especially right on LinkedIn's website. Uh, they make the process pretty simple. So once you're here in the LinkedIn ad accounts page, it's going to kind of show all of your details for your campaigns. We're not really running much right now. Um, so I'm just kind of using this for tutorials. Uh, but what we first want to do is um, I'm going to go over how to set up conversion tracking on LinkedIn. Um, so I have a WordPress website. You can see I have it open here. I have my theme open. It's an, it's The theme is called Astrid. Um, and what we're going to do is come over here to our LinkedIn uh, ads account page and come up here to account ad assets and conversion tracking. So it's going to say which website do you want to track conversion for. So whatever your website is, just enter that there. Um, they have get started in three easy three easy steps. Um, it's enter the domain, install the uh, LinkedIn insight tag across your website, pretty simple, and then measure return on investment. So, okay, so once you click continue, it's going to give you the insight tag here. And what it's telling us is to put in our site's HTML right above the body tag. So you take it, once you click on it, it copies. I'm going to copy it just in case. Um, you can send it to your email that you have on file here. Um, so I have my emails is my Gmail account. Um, and what we're going to do is copy it and click next. So what now what we want to do is go over to our website and come over to, if you're using a WordPress website, you kind of want to use a child theme. Otherwise, you always want to make sure when you update your theme that your uh, conversion tracking pixel is here right above the body tag. So it's a good thing to kind of keep in mind. So here's our closing body tag. You'll find it in the footer.php file of your WordPress website. If you're running a different website, you should have a global footer file where your body tag is held here. Um, so wherever your final body tag is, your global your global file here is where you want to place it. So we're going to come in right here, right above the final body tag, add it, and click Update File. Now, once we do that, our conversion tracking pixel is all set up through LinkedIn. Uh, so now you're good to do whatever you want to set up conversions. It's going to be across our website, and you can set up different pages as conversions. Think of it as installing Google Analytics. So LinkedIn is going to be recording all of the different traffic we have on our website across every page. Um, so once we click Save there, so now we're good. If we come back over to LinkedIn, they have you can start setting up conversions. Um, so for example, my contact form after you fill it out, people go to the thank you page. So what I can do is create a conversion name, contact form fills, whatever you want to name it, uh, you know, however you want to set it up. There's conversion type. Um, so if you have an e-commerce website, you could do add to cart. If you have a product like an ebook, you could do download. Um, so mine is going to be key page view or lead. I like to use lead, um, but it's really not any different. <clears throat> so you could set a value if you want to, but we're not going to. Um, I have some campaigns here. So one of the things you can do is say like, okay, I want to take this campaign and apply this conversion to that campaign. and It'll start optimizing for it a little better. But um, so website, Surfside PPC, perfect. Um, so we have our site-wide insight tag that we just installed on the website. So if we go to URL, what you want to do is you can either do contains or exact. I like to just do exact. Um, and what you want to do is just double check your page here. Um, so if I come into Surfside PPC. I just want to make sure that. So I like to just take it. Here's our thank you page. So after someone fills out our contact form, they get redirected right to this page. We have it set up through the contact form seven plugin on WordPress. Um, and all you have to do is URL exact and we'll add it just like that. And you could actually take away the HTTP and just do surfsideppc.com slash thank you. We have exact and finish. So now we have a conversion set up here, contact form fills, <clears throat> excuse me, it's going to say unverified until we have, uh, start to have conversions coming in, but all I know, and I know I'm good, because if I go to my footer file, I can see I have my LinkedIn code here, my thank you page, uh, have it exactly set up, uh, contact form fills as a conversion. So that's how to set up conversion tracking on LinkedIn. You could also start setting up audiences once this starts collecting data. Um, thanks for joining us today, and uh, hopefully this was a helpful video.